In this lesson, we are going to learn how to classify triangles um, given the sides and given the angles. There are two different ways that you can classify triangles. You can classify by their sides and you can classify by their angles. So when you are given information about the sides, these are the three names that you might be calling the triangle. Scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, and equilateral triangle. Scalene triangle means no sides are the same. No sides are equal to each other, or they're all different. Okay, an isosceles triangle looks like this. These are called base angles. These are called legs. And this angle right here, this angle, is called your vertex angle. Okay, in an isosceles triangle, you have at least two sides congruent. An equilateral triangle, equa means equal, lateral means sides, so equal sides. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides, three sides that are equal to each other. So an equilateral triangle is considered isosceles, but it's a special isosceles triangle, and so therefore we call it equilateral and not isosceles. Okay, then you can also classify by its angles. So if you look at the angles of these triangles, um, this triangle would be called an acute triangle, and it is because these three angles are all acute, which means less than 90. So all three angles are less than 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle has these three angles, but it has one angle that is greater than 90, but less than 180 degrees. Okay, so greater than 90, it's obtuse. It has one obtuse angle. Now, it can only have one obtuse angle because, as we're going to talk about later, and as you should already know, the, some of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So you can't have one angle that's, you can't have more than one angle that's more than 90 degrees, or that won't work. Then we have a right triangle. We have a right triangle. A right triangle has one right angle, or two sides that are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so it is a triangle with one right or 90 degree angle. Remember that with a right triangle, the legs are the ones that form the right angle. They form that L for leg. And then the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. Then we have an equiangular. Equiangular is like equilateral. It um, Equa means equal, angular means angles. And so it has all three angles are equal to each other. Okay, all three angles are congruent or equal to each other. Now another word for this is regular. We won't use it so much with triangles, but we will use it when we talk about hexagons or octagons. A regular figure has all three sides are congruent, or all the sides are congruent to each other, because you can have regular other size regular figures. All sides are congruent to each other, and all angles are congruent. So if you are, if you have an equilateral triangle, you automatically already have an equiangular triangle. If all three sides are equal to each other, then all three angles are going to be equal to each other. We'll talk more about that when we talk about angle side relationships. But that means that an equiangular triangle is regular because it will have three equal sides and three equal angles. Okay? So let's take a second and classify these triangles by sides and by angles. So if we look at our sides, our sides are all 8.6. That means they are all equal to each other. So sides, we have scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. So it is equilateral. And then 60, 60, and 60. All the angles are equal, so it is equiangular. Okay, so that triangle is equilateral and equiangular. 
So problem number two, let's look at our sides, 6.1, 8.7, and 7.4. Every single one of those is different. None of them are the same. That means it is a scalene triangle. Then you have all of your angles. None of them are the same, but they also are all less than 90 degrees, and so it is acute. So it is a scalene acute triangle. Look at our sides here. We have 11.2, 13.2, and 7. Since none of those sides are the same, it is again a scalene triangle by sides. And then we have 32 degrees, 58 degrees, and 90 degrees. Since this angle is 90 degrees, it is a right triangle. So we have a scalene right triangle. And then lastly, we have two sides that are the same and one side that is different. This is an um, isosceles triangle. Okay, because two sides are the same. And then we have 26 degrees, 26 degrees, and 128 degrees. That 128 degrees makes it obtuse. Now I know this is acute, this is acute. But they all three have to be acute to be an acute triangle. Now another thing, I know that these three are all acute. But because we want to use the best definition that we can, yes, they're all acute, but even better, they're all the same. And so we have to call it equiangular, not acute. This one, these two are acute, but it has an obtuse, and so we are going to go with obtuse. It is an obtuse. All three of them have to be different, and or they can be the same, but they um, all of them have to be um, they can't all three be the same. If they're all three the same, it's automatically equiangular, and all three of them have to be acute to be considered acute. So is it possible to have a triangle that's a right triangle and have all the sides be the same? Well, no, that can't happen because the hypotenuse has to be longer than the other side. So you can't have a right triangle that has all three sides equal. Also, if it has all three sides equal, we automatically know it has all three angles equal. So that means they can't all be 90 degrees. They all can be 60. Is it possible to be obtuse and equilateral? So remember, obtuse means it opens up like that. So that's obtuse. But can it have three equal sides? And again, no. If it's equilateral, it has to be equiangular. Okay, so all three sides have to be the same. All three sides are the same, meaning all three angles are the same, which is 60 degrees. Okay, so now let's look at a problem. It says ABC is an isosceles, two sides are the same, right, one right angle, where AB is a leg. Find all the possible values of C if A is at negative 2, 1, and B is at negative 2, 6. So I want all the possible values of C. So this is a leg. Now, remember what a leg is. The leg has to form an L, right? And a leg has to form an L with uh, the, the two legs. The two legs form an L. And so that means that uh, we have quite a few different options. So if A is where my right angle is, and we want it to be isosceles. Well, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that can be a location because then you've got this right triangle. Right? That's one right triangle. So I have C could be at 3, 1. I could also go backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so C could go right there. That's another option. C could be at negative 7, 1. That makes that right triangle. But if AB has to be a leg, then we also have another option. We could let the right angle be at B, so we could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and C could go right there where we have this right triangle. So C could go at 3, 6. Or we can also again go backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and have that triangle right there. So C could be at negative 7, 
six. So those are all possible locations that where C could go where AB is a leg and it's isosceles, which means the two sides are the same. That's why I counted five everywhere. Because AB was five, that's why I always counted over five, because I wanted it to be isosceles. And then I wanted it to be right, so AB was vertical, and so then I had to go horizontal. So I could go horizontal from A, where my right angles are here, or I could go horizontal from B, where my right angles are there. So we can classify our triangles by sides, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral, and we can classify our triangles by angles, acute, obtuse, right, and equiangular, and every triangle will have one of each name. 